Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. We're at Costco. I didn't think that we would be at Costco today. Mallory didn't think that we'd be at Costco today. But there's been a, a, a long journey. We're going to call it a journey that has culminated in us being in the parking lot of Costco right this second. And this is all about Mallory's glasses. We've talked a little bit about it over the past, God, two months? Mid-July is what yeah, we mid -July. went, I think. I think it was mid-July that we first went to the optometrist, and this journey started. And here, I mean, here we are. It's it's October, and we're we're still on this journey. Although, this, we, we just got off at the station, because this part of the journey is officially over. So I'm gonna ask Mal to take over from here, partially so I can eat the rest of this hot dog. They're so cheap at Costco, it's what? Anyway, um, I'll let Mal take over and do a brief recap of everything that happened so you can understand the context of the story and why we wound up at, uh, at Costco today. So back when we had our eye appointments, everything was fine, um, supposed to wear glasses more, so I decided to get glasses this year. And we went to Costco, I got glasses, they came in from the order and we went and picked them up. And I put them on and I was like, okay, I have my contacts and I can't really tell how good they are. Everything was really bad. Once I got home and took my contacts out and I could actually wear them, everything felt like a fishbowl. Like I would move my head and everything was just crazy. So um, we went back to Costco at some point and there was kind of a back and forth between Costco and my optometrist office about whose fault it is and who needs to figure out what the problem is. And eventually we figured out that the base curve was wrong. That's the curve of the glass here. Costco didn't measure my old glasses. They made them in a base curve of two. And my old ones were, um, I was told a four. And eventually, you know, we took that information to Costco who remade the glass and they made it at a four. And we picked it up last week and I put them on and they were like, give it at least two days, you know, to adjust. And we made it about an hour and I felt like I was going to vomit. We walked into Publix and I about fell over. So I didn't wear them really after that. And I decided to call my optometrist's office today and say, hey, I picked up the remakes. They're supposed to be the right base curve and I'm still nauseous. What do I do at this point? Because, you know, it's not their fault that Costco didn't make the glasses right. Like something is wrong and they can't figure out whose problem it is. So they're like, come in, we'll take a look, we'll measure, and we'll tell you what's wrong so you can tell Costco what's wrong. So I went in, they measured these ones again, they measured my new ones again, and they were like, they remade them at a three, not a four. She's like, I've measured them a few times just to make sure, and she said, they are definitely not a four, they're a three. And I went down to Costco because I was mad at this point. <laughs> And we walked in there and I explained what was wrong and I said, you know, these are a remake already and they'll have to be remade again. At this point, can I just return them? And I had done some research and Costco does let you return a lot of things, but because these are kind of, you know, custom made glasses that, you know, they have to make for my vision, I didn't know if they would because I had read they wouldn't. And the lady was like, yeah, she's like, at this point, yeah, we can do that. So they refunded me my money. And I'm very glad because now I can get glasses somewhere else. <laughs> so, and and, I mean, the good thing about Costco is that their return policy really is good. Yeah. It's the best return policy, I think, of any retail store that I've ever seen. Yeah. And they were willing to take back Mallory's glasses. So now I can go with some other things and try some other options. And I can always go to my optometrist again and be like, all right, you guys make them. Like, that's my fail safe. And be like, if you make them wrong, then something on your end is wrong this time. Yeah. So that's my, like, last resort, last resort. But there's some other things I'm going to try next. Yeah. I mean, the reason we went with Costco in the first place is that Costco is remarkably cheap. Yeah. My um, contacts were super cheap with them. And glasses were also pretty cheap. So, so like, it's, you know... It's good that it's so cheap, but yeah. the biggest problem is that if there is a problem, I mean, this the fact that Mal has had them remade twice is not good. It's yeah. Not, 
it's not really a, a great sign, but I don't know. Your mileage may vary, and certainly if you're willing to like, uh, deal with my it a contacts bit. have been fine through them. I mean, they just grab the box. That's my prescription. And there's other people we know who've gone to Costco and had a fine experience. It's just I'm not, and it's been very frustrating to me. But I haven't gotten glasses since 2008. That's how old these are. They're a decade plus old. But. Again, the reason I said that now, you know, the train has stopped is that all of this whole thing that's been with Costco mm -hmm. is over now. So, yeah. Mouse still has to get glasses. Yeah. And that sucks. Because I can't see out of these at all. But at least this whole fiasco with, with Costco is over and it was painless. It was like, okay, can we get a refund? And they're like, uh-huh. It's like, okay, then we're just done. We can stop this back and forth. The biggest issue is that Costco and our optometrist are really far apart. Yeah. So it's like, oh, cool. We need to go to Costco? Okay. And then we 35 would. 35 minutes later, we're yeah. at Costco. Uh, so it's really, um, it's not ideal. It's no, not it's ideal. not. But that part's done. Everything should be easier now. Should. Should. Famous last word. Jumping ahead quite a few hours two things that are notable. First thing, um, it's October, uh, the 1st of October, so a shout out to our patrons. Um, the names of the producers are on the screen now. Thank you. Uh, you can learn more at patreon.com slash Stephen George or Malmix if you'd like to uh, learn about th that. <laughs> There's uh, multiple, at this point, there are multiple ways to support us, but we have unique perks over on Patreon, and uh, we, we appreciate that. Um, the second thing has nothing to do with dates um, and, what, and the fact that it's strangely already October. Um, after we came home, uh, we were working on stuff for a little bit, and then we actually came into the kitchen to make dinner, and I was hit with a very bizarre feeling and I don't even really know how to describe it. Um, it was not good TM, I guess, uh, but it was like this very foggy feeling, this very distant feeling, and like a, I don't know, almost like a cold sweat. It was just like an instant like snap in my head of like, you feel really terrible. And I didn't know why I felt really terrible. And I just called Mao into the kitchen to start making food. And she's looking at me like I'm somewhere else. And I had no idea what was going on. And I felt dreadful and I didn't know what to do. So like the only thing I could think of is like, I think I need to just lay down. And I was like, okay, you know, how long do you need to lay down for? Like, what do you, and I'm like, I have no idea. I, I, I think I just I really need to lay down so she wasn't super hungry anyway um, which I guess worked out but the, the downside is um, that was around I think seven yeah and I just I, I I basically went to bed and when I woke up it was like quarter till midnight and you know I wander into the, the office and Mal's in there and she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I, th I think so. I still felt bad, but I didn't feel as bad. So Mal speculated that maybe I was dehydrated. So I drank some water and I started to feel a little bit better. And then immediately I started getting really shaky because I hadn't eaten any food. So I almost think it's fitting that yesterday tacos saved the day. Today they're saving day. Unbeknownst to us, today tacos would really save the day. So we're heating up the last of the taco stuff with the obvious downside being that it's it's twelve twenty one. This is this we should we should be in bed and instead we're eating dinner. So that's not it's not supposed to happen like that. And and I that's my fault. Like I screwed this up, but also I got very strangely sick in a way that even now I have a hard time putting into words. Um, and I'm not sure why, and I'm not sure what happened. I, dehydration could very well be a part of it. I've done that, sadly, in the past where I've just, I don't know, I just haven't consumed enough water. 
and um, you know, or or just liquids in general. And I th maybe I did that today. I have no idea. Um, it was just a weird feeling. It was like a a bit of a scary feeling, but also one that I was like, if I lay down, I'll be I'll be better. And when I laid down, I went straight to sleep. So yeah, um, the the downside here is that now I'm up. I'm I feel better, but I, now I'm hungry and I need to eat. But obviously the, the problem is by the time we're done eating, you know, it'll be pushing 1 a.m. And obviously Mal can go to bed. I have just finished sleeping for five hours. So I'm, I, I, at this point, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Um, I could, and like I didn't get everything done last night I wanted to do either because, or tonight. <laughs> the concept of time is now foreign. So I don't know if I should just try to sleep again and I'm going to wake up really, really early and just start my day really, really early or if I'm going to try and stay up and get stuff done until I feel sleepy again. Either way, you know, it's not ideal. It's really not because Mal's going to, you know, continue to basically still be on the schedule and I'm not. But I guess we'll find out tomorrow what I ended up doing. I'm going to end it here. Um, I'll be okay. I need to eat, and I think I need to drink a lot more water. And uh, <laughs> like I said, t in tomorrow's vlog, we'll, we'll find out what I ended up doing because I, I'm I'm at the crossroads here. I've got two major options. And then the other thing is, will I even be able to fall back asleep right now? I don't know. Maybe I will after I get a, a, some food in my stomach. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully Mal's... Uh, glasses are on the road to recovery as well. I don't know. You gave me a strange face. I mean, you you have to figure out what to do from here. And that's yeah, that's I the part that... Stuff. Oh, you do? Okay, Mal's got some ideas, so... We'll deal with that in the near future, too. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?